What's happening guys? Welcome to another video and it is a Friday evening or Friday afternoon. I've knocked off work a little bit earlier and we're not going far. We're just heading down to Manham. So uh, looking forward to getting a couple of nights camping. Been pretty flat out lately with Speedway and just other stuff happening. So uh, needed to get out. So today we're going to head to Haythorpe Reserve which is just on the eastern side of Manham, so the opposite side of the river to Adelaide and there's a little camping spot there it did get washed out uh, with the floods, well parts of it did so we'll go there and see what's happening uh, I'm not too sure if you have to pay or not uh, if you do it's probably only about 10 to 15 bucks a night but I've got a funny feeling that there's no toilet block at Haythorpe Reserve at the moment because it all got washed out with the floods so I think you can just camp there for free but uh, mind you no toilet block or just up past the ferry on the same side of the river is Bolter Reserve which has got a toilet block and I'm fairly sure you'd still have to pay at that one but we'll check that one out as well see what's happening trying to get there early on a Friday so I can get a spot so we'll see what happens but uh, we will find somewhere and that's about it uh, we'll do a bit of fishing probably tonight head into Beachy's pub and uh, have a couple of drinks maybe a food review we'll see what happens I actually haven't uh, had any beers for about three months now I've had a few gym beans and cokes and stuff but been off it been on a little bit of a uh, fitness campaign which is going uh, reasonably good so uh, tonight might be the exception so looking forward to catching up with Beachy and having a few beers and we'll see what happens but uh, that's about it. So uh, we better turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means? It's time to start the music. Okay, well, we're just coming up to Haythorpe Reserve now. We actually come into Manham on the eastern side. Adelaide is on the other side, about 80 kilometres away. And Haythorpe Reserve, we're just checking to see how many caravans there are. It's looking pretty good. Got one guy there with a jet ski. And a caravan up there. We shall find a little spot, only one caravan, so the ferry is up ahead about 200 metres. Sorry buddy. And we will just see what we can find in here. around. I think we'll go to the spot back behind. So we'll just go down and check out Bolter Reserve. So you got the two ferries to the right and then you just go straight ahead. It's a dead end road. Got a whole row of shacks here. For sale. So these uh, all went underwater, probably about two metres up from the ground. You might be able to see a couple of the water marks. Oh, that's showing only maybe a metre up from the ground. So this is Boulder Reserve. Wow, a lot more caravans down here than my end. I think they needed the toilet block. Ferry up there on the bank, straight ahead. I 
I didn't think the toilet block would be that big a thing, but obviously it is. So if you need a toilet block, come down this end. There's still plenty of places where you could camp or put your caravan. Righto guys, I've got my spot. Took a lot of thinking to get it all worked out. It's a little bit uneven when you get close to the river there. And me not being prepared just yet with the caravan, I probably should have a few uh, blocks of wood so I can level it up. But back here in the corner, there's a little bit of a spot that's a little bit more level. And I used my very small intellectual mind to jack it up a little bit so it's fairly even and I'll get these ramps down in a minute and get a bit more pressure off the sides here but great little spot this is all blocked off down here because of the floods I did do a video in my little camper van where we were parked down there about or camp down there about 100 meters and this is where the water started flooding through the road and knocking the road right uh, through and out to the back there so we'll check that out when we go for a walk later but that bit's all blocked off I'm not too sure if you have to pay yet or not I'm thinking it's free at the moment because there's no toilets there used to be a toilet block down there and all signs up but just back in here we're keeping out of the wind a bit Got a bit of a southwesterly coming through from this way. So we're a little bit guarded in here. We've got uh, tea for tomorrow night walking past. And a great little spot. So I'll just get a few things organised in. I reckon it might be time for it to go for a bit of a walk, catch the ferry, and uh, shoot across to Beachy's pub, have a couple of drinks. So last time we were here, maybe a year and a half ago when we camped in the little white van, we were just down by those rocks and trees. There used to be a toilet block over there. That all got washed away. And this is where the water broke through the road and back out to the backwaters out here. And it just happened to be the day that I was down about a kilometre, this road was all blocked, but I put the drone up and I didn't even know that I'd caught it until I got home and uh, read that this had broken through and I checked my film and when I was editing it and you can see the water gushing through here so I'll try and find that video and put it up a little bit there. It's, uh, I was a fair way away with the drone but you should be able to see where the water was gushing through here they're still fixing it all up right let's get on time for a ferry review put the car going first check out the wave How you going, all right? Very good. Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> Said I could have the seat right up the front in business class. So as I keep telling you, all these ferries are named after a bird and I am a bird expert. That is the water hen. So the water hen related to the budgie also related to the tomtit and also the fakari bird which is a bird from south africa gets its name from jumping up and down in the long grass and where the fuck are we where the fuck are we sorry they don't get any better than that okay we've got a good take off sun 
just going down it's pretty windy we've got the Marion paddle boat over there the Canali was in front of it a few weeks ago maybe they've taken it back up to Morgan that's where it was getting rebuilt or reconditioned caravan park over there to the right so here he goes left arm looks lined up good I can't really see the right arm at least I can coming in very nicely hasn't adjusted anything Bang, that is an excellent landing drops it back down one of the better landings I've seen all depends on the wave as we go now I don't think we'll get a wave, I think it'll just be a see you later. Oh, he gave him the two finger wave, that's good. Three finger wave. See you later. Have a good night. Thank you. Gave me a thumbs up, so that's pretty good. 9.4, that's my review. I think this is going to be a lot better review than when I'm coming back from the pub. So getting a little bit dark at the moment we got Beachy's pub up about 150 meters on the right and here we've got a bit of a museum probably come across tomorrow I don't need to do a bit of shopping so I don't know that might be in the second video we'll wait and see this is the old dry dock when I was a kid that's where the Marion was and it was falling to pieces you know, used to charge you two dollars to go and check it out so every time we went to Adelaide this way from the farm we'd usually go and check it out but it had all holes and everything in it so brilliant to see it all restored Hey okay, guys, food review. Didn't have a main meal, we're going for the toast and ham and cheese sandwich here at Beachy's Pub. Great pub. Bit of action happening. Be back in a minute. Good looking review. Looking pretty good. So, uh, both the sandwich review. Very good. Crispy on the outside. The ham and cheese. Very nice. 8.2. That's my review. Would have been maybe an 8.4 if they didn't cut it in triangles. The triangles spoiled a little bit, but overall, after you've had 10 beers, very nice. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, so my name is Jake Mustag. I live here locally in Manham. Um, Show us <laughs> Okay, so what I do for a day job from Monday to Friday is I work on the farm out at Coteville, which is about 45 minutes away from Get Manham. kangaroos for a living. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, Coteville. I played cricket at Coteville. Did <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, we're heading home. It's actually been a huge night. I don't know whether I'll put this up on the video or not because uh, it's a family show. But uh, brilliant night at Beachy's Pub. I was going to press the button for him to come across but he's coming back anyway. So what time do you go till? Six tomorrow morning. Oh. This morning. Six till six. So six what's till that? Six. Twelve hour shift here. Yeah. Because yeah. you're on me when I came across. Ah, right, cool. It's all good. Have a seat up in business. <laughs> Thank you. Well, 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 I'm just about to say good morning, and I think we've hooked on. Hang on. Hang on. How can I set this camera up? I'll put it back here. Look at 
this one, guys. That is a beautiful catfish, which have to go back in the water. But I haven't caught a catfish for a while. I'm back, guys. Okay, getting back in the water. And off he goes. I was about to say good morning or good afternoon. I've had a bit of a sleep in. Had a fairly uh, good night last night. What's going on with this rod? Is that just the wind? I think it's just the wind. But I uh, woke up today, I must have been snoring a fair bit because um, the other caravan's gone. And how's this a sad day? I thought reserve. No one here. Although I did see a fire down the end when I got home last night. But it looks like they've packed up and gone too. Unbelievable. So yeah, pretty windy today, but... Our little spot up here cuts most of the wind out. Another catfish. They are beautiful. Two in about. 15 minutes but as I said they are protected I've got to go back pretty good eating these nice thick fillets you get up here we go and uh, chuck them back in Okay guys, no cook up, too windy outside, more comfortable in the van, so uh, we went and got a pizza, so pizza review, meat lovers, looks pretty good, got to remember it's been in the box for probably 10 minutes, but uh, nice and thin, seems firm. Pretty good undercarriage. Probably could have been a bit more burnt, but looks pretty good. We'll just uh, give it a quick bite. No crisp, but uh, we're going to say that's because it's been in the box for 10 minutes. So, uh, pretty good. 7.6. That's my review. And there's the proud Mary heading back into Manham. Okay guys, that's going to finish this one. Not a real lot of action in this video. I think the Friday night in Beachy's pub might have slowed me down a bit. First time I've been a bit tiddly for probably three months. So, uh, but it was good to meet a few people in the pub, have a couple of beers with Beachy, and I've forgotten the name of the lady now who came up to me and said she watched the watches the video. So thanks for coming up and say, saying hello, and also another lady which came up to me yesterday here at the campsite she drove over and uh, had a little bit of a chat with her so again sorry didn't get your name but uh, thanks heaps for watching Haythorpe Reserve pretty crazy how there was only one caravan here on the Friday night nothing on the Saturday or Sunday but I'm sure that will change as the weather warms up but at the moment this campsite is free because there's no toilet block here but uh, there's a few nice spots down along here where you can get to right next to the river. So if you want a cheap couple of days away, I thoroughly recommend it. And uh, 
as a score for not having a toilet block it's got to be at least a 9.2 fantastic little spot pretty happy happy with my uh, fishing progress we caught a couple of fish this time that'll be a first for a little while those two catfish uh, I was pretty excited about catching those and I got a couple of other carp as well but I didn't get a callop I was all ready to fill it one and cook it up but uh, that didn't happen but uh, at least I caught a couple of fish this time guys and yesterday weather was a bit like this a bit shitty so fantastic just to have the van and get in there and uh, connect up through my phone and watch a couple of movies on Netflix so I'm I'm getting too posh now aren't I watching going camping and watching a couple of movies on Netflix but uh, that was only because it was blowing a gale and I'm getting old guys so it was good relaxing in there so uh, that's it thanks for watching next week we got Speedway and the following week got a weekend off so I've got a couple of options I'm thinking about but we'll sort that out then and uh, that's it catch you guys later